Would you stop bathing for 60 years? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We've all been there. You wake up late, you gotta get to school or to work or to some other engagement, and you're like, I don't have time to take a shower. I'll just I'll just uh, give bird bath or I might I might bathe in the in the sink at work at like lunch time. Do that. Or you got a little bit of time, so I I give myself a head shower, mm. but I won't give myself a full body or shower. A second layer of deodorant. That's my technique. Oh, I do that plenty of times too. But Cologne. the sh- The general approach to life and the reason why we have to rationalize all of these things that we're doing when we're late for stuff is because there's this pressure to take a bath every single day, Mm -hmm. to take a shower or a bath, but not both. I mean, a couple of days ago, I took two showers in one day. I started to feel a little guilty because of the the, wet, the water situation here in California. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. But besides that, if you fall down in the shower, sometimes you take a bath at the same time. If there's a, a drain issue. If the drain, the drain, the drain. <laughs> if there's a drain issue <laughs> I'm and you bath. fall down, now I'm you can find yourself in a surprise bath situation. <laughs> um, but the facts are skipping showers is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, mm. the dermatologists back us up. They say you should, really shouldn't bathe more than every two to three days or two to three times a week. Well, you do Same the math. Difference. Same difference. You do the math. Uh, if you shower too often, particularly in hot water, you can particularly, I can say that word. You can, he can. I just didn't want Trust to. Trust me, I've heard it before. Uh, you can dry out and irritate your skin, yeah. wash away the good bacteria that is present on you your need skin. need bacteria. Um, it, you can introduce small cracks in your body. You don't want any extra cracks. <laughs> that puts you at a higher risk of infection. You wanna wash that one crack, but you, but, you don't wanna introduce new cracks. Uh, I mean, in the 1700s, and probably for earlier than that, for longer than that, people just bathed once a week, and they were fine. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they, they didn't live, they lived to be 40, I mean, you know. <laughs> it, is, it is said that your clothes, do I sound defensive now? It's said that your clothes get rid of more dirt than taking a shower. So as long as it's you're- It's said? It is said. <laughs> Who says I'm this? I'm not gonna say, it just com, it's common knowledge. Well, I don't know. It's said, okay? <laughs> it's not the dermatologist. But most of the dirt is on your clothes if you if you wear clothes yeah. and then you just change your clothes. It's like taking a clothes shower. I, I get that, not really, uh, maybe. I, I, What's I, your approach to bathing? I take a, a shower every single morning, almost without fail, and I do think I, have like, I have like dry skin issues mm. and stuff. You have cracks, I'm don't you? To. And my wife takes a shower every single day, which mm. I appreciate. And uh, but my children, we have to be the ones to monitor them. Oh gosh, forget you know, the it's, children. It's, it's, when I smell my ten-year-old's hair battle. from like six feet away, he he gets a shower. He needs a shower. And then when I see the dirt on my six-year-old, like on his feet, they'll be just completely brown on the bottom, or <laughs> he'd have some like stuff all over his face. <laughs> right. And then he has to shower. Um, Other yeah, than so, that. So if our kids could probably stand to bathe a little bit more, yeah, right. and, or maybe they're in the, the sweet spot. So what I would like to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to explore the opposite end of the spectrum. What if you never bathed? And we have two case studies here. I got the first one here. A 70-year-old man named Kalash Singh uh, lives near the Indian holy city of Varanasi. He has not bathed in 41 years. And he looks awesome. That's intense. I mean, he doesn't look dirty. He looks awesome. He probably smells very intense. He, uh, he, he doesn't. I don't know if he's happy. He doesn't look really happy. Uh, he stopped bathing in 1974 after he got married. <laughs> yeah, because once you get the girl, then right? It's just Mission like, accomplished. I ain't got to bathe. Why I should I bathe, do, girl? Why should I do that anymore? But no, here's his real story. Uh, the priest told him that in order for him to have a son as an heir, he needed to stop bathing. That was the priest's. Prescription. That totally makes sense. Well, he ended up having seven daughters, mm, and he, a, but he never stopped. He never stopped stopping bathing. Yeah, yeah. So he just kept up that habit. That's scientific um, too. He he works on the banks of the River Ganges in heat up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. He has six foot long dreg- dreadlocks. The dude is not six foot tall. His dreadlocks you can see in that they picture. They drag. They're dragging the floor. They're drag locks. Now that's cool. But and, you can, but, he but seemed, you can he smell. Seems healthy. You can smell just dread, just a dude with dreadlocks though, like just a dude with dreadlocks, like yeah. a normal dude. You can smell those things too. You can wash dreadlocks, right? People I know, do but it. You can smell them. Oh gosh, a little dreadlock waff sometimes. You ever had that? <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay. But I'm gonna you, stay out of that. You moment. imagine what this? I'm sure we like. have mythical beasts who are dreadlocked. It's cool. And you know what? You're welcome. Be proud. Here. You're welcome. Wear I them love, long. I love the way you smell. Never cut them. 
He does wash his hands and face with water, but he only bathes with fire. <laughs> He dances around. How do you do that? He dances around a bonfire. That's what he does. He's living large. Look I've at done him. that, but I never Kicking considered back. it a bath. I was like, just considered it camping. Camping. <laughs> <laughs> camping. Oh, we're getting a little loopy today. I mean, I just think I'm excited ah, that s'mores. there is a viable evidence to not have to bathe. I'm excited. I mean, well, I'm not going to apologize. It gets worse with this second guy. You better. Who has not bathed? in over 60 years. After a few years in, it's kind of like a marathon. He just hit a, hit a stride. His name is Amu Haji. He is considered the world's dirtiest man. I don't think anybody else has been around and not bathed as long as this guy. He's over 80 years old. He lives in Southern Iran uh -huh. or Iran near the village of Dejga. Now there's a, a bunch of really cool pictures that were taken by an Iranian news outlet that did a really good job of kind of almost making this guy look like a superhero. Like that epic, like could yeah. come out of the dirt and save the day. Um, <laughs> and you, you kind of get this, you get this impre the impression that this guy is completely owning this dirtiness. You know, he, he well, looks he incredibly lo happy. Yeah, he is, he's just I wanna ecstatic. hang out with this guy from a distance. Hold on, I, you know? I, may I point out that he could just be squinting. He could be looking right into the sun in this I'd like photo. to imagine that he's incredibly happy. Now, he doesn't bathe because he believes that cleanliness brings him sickness, which studies show, that's true. <laughs> it is said, it is said, It is said, right? it is said right? that your shirts <laughs> are better than showers and cleanliness brings you sickness. So, and he actually gets upset if you offer him clean food and water. He, he literally gets angry. Okay. So he drinks his water from a rusty oil can and his favorite meal, I'm not making this up, is rotten porcupine meat. In Where Iran. do you find porcupine meat? The Iranian desert, I guess. And then you let it rot, and that's what he likes, and he washes it down with this dirty, rusty water. Well, good for him. Stare into the sun and seem happy. He cuts his own hair, and I and I can identify with the move because I also cut my own hair, but I use clippers, he uses fire. He just burns, this guy takes a fire bath, your it's guy takes a fire bath, my guy just burns his hair off. What What is it with these guys who, but between like not bathing and like harnessing fire for I for like Maybe we should grooming find purposes. It out. We should have like a fire that's always going on set. A grooming fire. Yeah, like I'm, a haircut. Gonna I'm gonna trim my nose hairs with this. Uh, <laughs> that won't go well. <laughs> he sleeps in a hole in the desert that looks a lot like a grave. Uh, wow, it does. Now he's he is, uh, the locals wanted to reach out to him a little bit so they built him a brick shack but he only uses it at the in the winter to to escape the extreme cold. But he's like, I ain't sleeping in there, I'm sleeping in my grave. Oh gosh. And his most prized possession is a three inch steel pipe that he smokes animal feces in. That is his tobacco of choice, animal feces. Does he like dry it out first? Or does he just like scoop it up and? I guess once you light it, it just starts drying real fast. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think this guy cares? If it, he probably takes some and puts it and rubs it into his face while he's doing it. I mean. That's a big pipe. I mean, that's literally like a a plumber's pipe. It's not like a a a pipe that you use to smoke dung with. It's pipe that you use to like fix a sink with. But, that's what he's smoking. Yeah, but you get a lot of feces in there. <laughs> I, you know, I just I think he's squinting in that photo too. But he doesn't look as happy. So I, I th think he's just a squinter. I think you could just learn a lot from this guy. I I, I think that everybody <laughs> should take. You know, a at few least years, a few, a few 60, years, a few, few decades. Years. No, I mean, we should take, let's take a month. What if we just did a month with no bathing? You know, no bathing, no cutting of hair, no grooming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll think about it. I guess. That was like that was like me opening the hinge on my brain <laughs> to figure uh, out what I thought about it. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll think about that. Well, I, so I'm, next time I have to get my kids to get in the bath, um, show them this picture. I'm gonna show them the picture. He's like, you want to be like this guy? And they'll probably be like, yeah, yeah those yeah. are pretty He's epic cool. photos. He sleeps in a grave, Dad. <laughs> <He> smokes feces. <laughs> I'm into that. So I think we've we've uh, we've examined the extremes. Now you choose where you are on the spectrum and let us know in the comments. Yeah, and while you're down there, give us a like. Oh, you stole! <laughs> you can't steal that from the girls. That's hey hey show I material. I wanted to see if, if that got if, if you picked up on that. <laughs> you know what time it is. My name is Devin. I'm from Pocomoke City, Maryland, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Sometimes you get cold in your head region and you need a hoodie. We've got you covered in the Good Mythical Morning 
Putty, let me, let me stretch that out for you. It's uh, Navy. It's you know what Navy. they say about Navy? It cleans you. Click through to Good Mythical Mora. We describe how we get our kids to take showers. It ain't easy. Bowling, look what happened! Woo! You have to give somebody else a prize. It's true Tremajor 15. Congratulations, Tremajor 15. You win a Paul, a coyote Paul that we used in the get look off the this. phone video. Hmm, look at this, I have a dog paw. It's it's not real, or maybe it is. No, it is. Yeah. Okay, it's but we're, totally gonna, real. we're gonna ship this to you along with some Rhett and Link merch. Congratulations for making your win face. Now you got a reason psh, for making it. Because when they take a shower, that, that's the autonomy of, all right, now you're in charge of yourself. You take a shower, you stand under the cascading water, and you, you clean yourself. And leave me out of it.